Hi, my name is Nyla Magruder, and I'm going to be reading my book to you for Barnes & Noble Storytime. It's called What Are You? And it's about great adventures, going on a journey, and discovering who you are. Let's get started. She was called What Are You? And she lived there, in that shallow hole in the earth. She was the only one, and she did not know where she came from. She did not know her name either, but now and then a creature would come upon her and say, What are you? What are you did not know how to answer this question, so she would ask it back. And the creatures would tell their tales. What am I? I am the rabbit. In the beginning, the first gardener was digging a hole to plant his cabbages. He dug too deep and hit the very center of the earth. And you know what popped out? Rabbits. Now, my people hop all over the earth. What am I? I am the wren, queen of the hedge. In the beginning, my people were as large as trees and ruled the world. Our size has grown smaller, but not our might. Magnificent, thought what are you. What am I? I am the wolf. In the beginning, my people were born in moonlight. Now, we run and hunt together. And at night, we sing our thanks to the heavens. Wondrous, thought what are you. What would be more wondrous, though, was if what are you could share her own story. Every day, Creatures large and small regaled her with their tails. The bullfrog, the fox, the elephant, the honeybee, the tortoise, and finally, the great whale, oldest and wisest of them all. One night, what are you looked up to the moon? What am I? Who are my people? Where did I come from? Surely I have a story too. But the moon did not know either. The next morning, what are you started walking and did not stop? Her friends had all come from someplace else. If what are you could find where she came from, maybe her story would be waiting there. I will search far and wide, she said to herself. I will go all the way to the very beginning of the world if I have to. What are you journeyed under tall trees, through dense grass, and over rolling hills? She walked until she could walk no more. So she swam. On strange shores, she found a creature she had never seen before. I'm the dodo. I've seen many suns rise and set over these islands. But I have never seen a creature like you. What is your story? I don't know, said What Are You, but I will soon. What Are You continued on, over rising terrain, until she reached mountains too tall to climb. So she dug. Deep in the earth, she found a creature she had never seen before. I am called the dragon, the terrible lizard, and many other names. My bones are spread far and wide through this earth, but I have never seen a creature like you. What is your story? I don't know, said What Are You, but I will very soon. What Are You continued on, deep and deeper and deeper still, until it was so dark she could no longer see. So. She closed her eyes. When she opened them, there was a tiny, very tiny light. She crawled toward it and found a creature she had never seen before. I am the protozoan, it said to her. I have been here since the beginning. I have seen it all, more than I can ever tell. But I have not seen a creature like you. Oh, said What Are You? You 
have come a long way to find me. Tell me, have you discovered what you were searching for? Not yet, but I think I'm getting close now. What are you walked farther than she had ever walked, and the land grew sparser than it had ever grown. I am coming to the very beginning of the world, she thought. My story must be over that last hill. What are you climbed the hill and came down the other side? But there was no story there. All what are you found was a shallow hole. Her shallow hole. She had come right back to where she had started. Sad and tired, what are you curled up? Just as she was falling asleep, she heard her name. What are you? Her friends surrounded her. Here it is, she thought, the same old question. They will ask her what she is, and she will have to confess. I don't know. I don't know what I am or where I come from. Perhaps I come from nowhere. Perhaps I am nothing. But before she could say these things, her friends asked questions what are you had not heard before. Are you all right? Where did you go? What did you see? What did you hear? For none of them had traveled as far or as long as what are you. So, what are you told them about her adventures? How far she had walked, swam, dug, and crawled? About the creatures she had met, strange, terrible, and wonderful. And how her long journey over hills, across oceans, and under mountains had finally brought her home. At the end, her friends were very quiet, taking it all in. Then the whale, oldest and wisest of them all, said, Now what are you? That is a wonderful story indeed. The creatures nodded. Tell it again. And what are you did. Thanks for joining me today. I hoped you liked listening to What Are You? 